I don't know if I'm gonna keep Luna. She is my starter horse. And literally every horse I have right now, all 32, literally have some kind of genetic toe to her. So the one from over here, because I am trying to work with a lot of them. Cooper! Oh my god, I don't know who Cooper is. We should have looked at that. <laughs> um <coughs> let's do this. We training them in jumping for real for real. Cause I don't know why or what's going on, but it seemed like, you know, when you first have your horse and stuff, you want to put them in the barn to train them for high jumping. Um, the only reason I say that is because I bred 16 horses. This one is a little fiery. Um, I bred a few horses, and I noticed when I hand trained them myself, was what I'm doing right now, them me putting them through training with the coaches in the barn they have a higher jumper status i guess i don't know but they can jump higher like the rails are higher like they're mellowed out i don't know is it just me or is it the game but i can work with this one horse for five days in real time right and i could train 15 times a day all right, with well, just one horse. That's what I did with Bush Baby. And she was my first horse to get me close enough to this Grand Prix, which I'm very proud. This one don't knock over real, so I'm real happy. <clears throat> but I noticed that this horse I've been working with for 20 days. I haven't recorded it because it's kind of painful to see you like get rejected or bucked off. Um, and then they want to stop every five seconds in front of the jumps even though you hit the green but i noticed even though i worked with them their jumps don't go higher than this luna i had since a year and a half I worked with her every day all day before they even had the um you could watch videos to boost your thing or take off time so you can have your full a little quicker more than when they had a lot of other stuff i played the game when it was first when it first came out exactly um but luna is still at that level so when i'm telling you guys the thing i noticed what you probably want to do is to automatically put your horses into a higher jumping practice session for eight hours yes you won't be able to ride your horse and stuff like that but you can use gold coins to boost that and it only is seven and you get 50 for like five dollars i think <clears throat> and if you play games like i do on my phone you also can earn points and stuff by playing other games so you can literally add those points to take off money that you don't have to pay to play this game or buy the gold coins right so yeah so some of my horses are newbies they're babies but they are jumping at a level bush baby is jumping and she's almost a grand prix jumper it's just i didn't put her in that training session early enough for her to face her fears because she will reject those higher jumps every freaking time i think we're done but we're not going we're not stopping because he has like a really attitude problem and I don't like it whatsoever. I'm sorry, like I don't like that. Like if I'm asking the horse to do like a certain gait and they try to go above that, it irritates the hell out of me, to be honest with you. I ride horses as a hobby, but I had to stop because I was in a car accident. So, I am not literally going back until next year. But, let's see if he'll do better on a different leg. So, my best guess is to hold on to the reins. So, if you see him trying to go over, you can like automatically knock that back. Yeah, I don't like this horse. I'm sorry. I cannot work with a horse that's this stubborn. Like, I gotta sell him. And hopefully they give me a lot of money for him. Because 
What is he? Is he blue? Because if he's blue, he could go. He can go. Like, Cooper is... Let's see. Oh, you're... Oh, that's why. You are spicy. Who the fuck did you come from? Oh, you came from Monty? I don't even have Monty anymore. Like, literally, I don't have Monty anymore, y'all. Monty was a horse that sold after a while. So, we just gonna breed. And then sell her. So. <clears throat> we gonna breed Cooper. I don't want to, but maybe she'll give us a baby that is not pain in the ass. Cooper. <coughs> so, so good. I think I'm gonna breed her. Ooh. No, that's inbreeding. How is that inbreeding? So, Rover is Cooper's baby? Wait, what? Y'all, so we don't, we can sell Cooper if that's what I'm thinking. If it's right. If Rover came from Cooper, then that would make sense because it said inbreeding. And I'm a little confused at how it's inbreeding when I never, they never cross paths like with parents. Anyway. Yeah, Cooper. Okay, so maybe the parents. It's the parents, y'all. Yeah, it's parents, yeah. Cooper, I'm selling you. You're the pain in my ass. Bye. You know what that good stats anyway. Yay! Making a steal to bring on another horse. I'm actually very curious of what we gonna have into the sales today. Um, the highest horse I seen was 700. Hmm. And I go, f ooh, I love Palominos. I don't know why. I just love, this is a Swedish warm blood. I swear it looks for it. <clears throat> so the horses I will go for is, 15 is the shortest. Like, 15 hands is like the shortest. Because anything under is a pony. And I'm not really too thrilled at having another pony. I already have one. Don't want another. Don't know what the fuck this one. It looks like a French in there. Oh no, Wellish Cobb. Yeah, all of these are bad. <coughs> they are spicy. Not a good variety. We gonna go do some ads and see if we can get a foal that we like from the breeding arena the breeding barn because rover had gave birth to two prize horses i love fan favorite and snow and yes didn't get birth to but had his job and he did it well because they are 738 both of them and he's a 740 so i'm very really proud i'm trying to find a horse that can breed that I can get from a different genetic, but everybody is literally connected already. So, <coughs> so, yeah. This is Bush Baby. She's, ooh, one day. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> <laughs> Those ads were long. Oh my god, let's see what Bush Baby gave us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh, another one of those colors. I want a Bush Baby color. I like her Palomino coat. I didn't ask for ice vanilla mocha. Coffee coat. Not fuck it, let's see. Ooh, Coco. I'm gonna call her C for now, just in case. I don't know if I like you. Mm. Well, if it's higher than the parents, both of the parents, I'll keep the baby. 
baby phone, whatever, right? Oh no, sell. Oh, the stats look good though. Oh, five thirteen. My bad, baby girl. You don't, you don't have to be so. I think it's a boy. Yeah, I'm gonna sell you. So the horses that are higher, like the 500, sell for one. 1500 the purple horses usually could go around the 1600 maybe 1700 if you're lucky and if you have a higher enough level of horse that is above 740 um i'm not sure i never tested it out because i'm not gonna sell my babies um i think you would get a good 2000 from them but who's gonna sell those horses like that you know mm. Runa. Oh, I think she came from Luna. That's the only reason. I would name Luna kids similar to her. So we in a competition. Holy fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Good pass for good luck. Let's go. Runa is good, but her gait is a little slow. For a form all encounter. But I like it because it's manageable. And she got a good turn in. So it's pretty decent. I'm gonna cut that turn in half. Mm. 32. Not bad. Oh, and she got four ribbons. <laughs> Good job. Destiny, I'm not really sure. I don't think I like her much. But none of the horses that are new have ribbons, so I'm trying to get them ribbons before the season is over. Because they do keep the ribbons from every season. In every competition, you put them in. So, the first season you have seven ribbons, they will still have those same seven ribbons when they go into a competition. Or when the season ends, I mean, so. She's a little stubborn when it comes to the turn. But she's still good. But she's a high jumper. I like her because she picks up her feet. Duke do not pick up his feet for nothing. I mean, he'll jump over, but it feels like his back legs are just like he's not putting in the energy. When he goes over, he knocks down rails. Like he does, he don't, I don't know, I can't explain it because I know this is just game, but like, he is more lazy when it comes to jumping over jumps. If it's not a high jump, he's lazy about it. Like, literally. I think he just like jumping over higher jumps. It pisses me off because it's like, this is a small jump. You still got to put in effort, like, pick those feet up. And he don't. But he is a good one. After Bush Baby, I had um, Destiny and Duke at the same time trained them at the same time one did better than the other but she's turning out to be more controllable when it comes to her jumping oh yes Duke would have fucked it up I'm sorry but like oh my god come on girl put in that a kick in come on <laughs>
We probably got messed up this time, but I think that was me. I pulled the wings most likely. But she put in the work. And I like her tr gait. Look at that. It just says, bitch, I'm a show horse. Deal with that. <laughs> and she keeps getting three ribbons. Oh my god, I'm in love with this horse. <laughs> Hey, baby girl about to get a treat when she gets off. <clears throat> Let's see, because I never got past. Oh, shit. <laughs> Destiny, please don't fuck me over. Go at the speed you like. Told you, I swear, these horses got personalities. Like, when she's going fast, she can jump over any fucking jump. See? No problem. And we was a far distance. Not mad. She has eight mistakes. It's just... I know what jumps we gotta have to practice. That lady is crazy. <clears throat> hey, who's in advance? <laughs> you lying. Y'all. Bush baby, when did you gonna tell me you had this skill? Baby girl. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Bush Baby still got what she got. Come on. Show us. See what I'm talking about? Actually, I'm curious. Because I know some of them. Um, like their potential is reached. So I'm like trying to get every horse into high jumping. That's what every horse is on training right now. But we do have eight. <laughs> Fan favorite, definitely getting Yes, you did good, baby. I wonder if Bush Baby could still go. Because everything else is... Where's Sam favorite? So, yeah, when they're not in the actual, oh my god, what the fuck, baby boy, you is your father's child, come on, I think you're a baby boy, the fan favorite leaves the mail, I keep forgetting that, I hope.
Damn. Well, how would you feel if your daughter called you Krampus on Christmas Eve? <laughs> on Christmas in general. Like, how would you feel? Like, text that in the comments. Egg was the game. So, egg was the question. This is what she looks, well, he looks like on both sides. He is like his father height, so the height will be most likely close to 16, 17 hands. In between 16 and 17. So I would say like 16 and a half. So yeah, this is what fan favorite look like. But to be honest, yes, my Frenchins are the tallest horse I have only because they are Frenchins. But in category, if I actually had the thought of if Frenchins were the same size as normal horses, fan favorite Rover and Snow would be the tallest that I have. And yes, fan favorite. Yeah, good one. And then here's the front look. <laughs> there's his other leg. <laughs> so, when I want to switch. Here's a collector trot. When you go on a collector trot and your horse ears go back, just pat them a little bit and then release. They will get used to it depending on what their temperament is. But all of them are pretty good on collector trot. I think Runa is good in the transition. Fan favorite is good going into it even though he doesn't like it. He, he still does it for me. He's a good one. He's a good boy. Okay, so speed and jumping. Oh my god, good job. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Fan favorite came from Rover, so I do expect Rover kids to bring me um, a certain level of awe. Uh, like Rover, this is Luna, this is Mia, Destiny, Destiny's Child. Yeah, remember that? This is Duke. I love him, but he's a pain in my ass. <laughs> but he's, wait, what? Motherfucker, did you just... You 703, my dude? Bro, you 703. I, I bought... Did I buy you? Dude, I bought you a year ago. How you shitty at jumping, my dude? It's probably my fault because he's not really trained. Actually, he probably not even trained. <clears throat> oh, he got potential. He got potential. Like no. This is Cole. Duke and okay. 
So Cole came from his father, and he's lesser than his father. That is Rose, Mint, Runa, and I swear Runa came from Runa. Not Runa is the single child. Fury. That's Elsa. Elsa is Bush Baby's child. Like, no. Okay, that's weird. Because it says inbreeding. But we never. Yeah, Luna was my first horse Bush Baby. You know what? Hold on. How did I get Bush Baby? Because when I got into the breeding, it says inbreeding. Oh, they not Palomino, they Camilo. There's a difference. Palomino, I think, is way wider. Okay. Yeah, this. This is inbreeding for the both of them. And it says it for one of kids, too, so. Okay, let's see. We is gonna breed another horse. I want a foal that is inside that they don't come out as foals. Cause that's like the whole purpose of, of it. I wish they had more draft breeds and they added the sauce, but nobody knows if they're gonna add that in or not. But saying that the arena behind you has a dressage setup, then I believe they will go eventually. Ooh, hallelujah. Aw, oh, cloud. That's what I'm saying. Cloud and snow is not from the same family line. So I'm a little worried of what the fuck is going on. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm kind of furious. Let's see the job. So we have a 12 chance of a chestnut for a bay. Palomino. Oh, the ones I've been getting is Palomino. Buckskin is the one I want. And then we have a chance for a gray. We have $16,000. I'm literally breeding horses because we have one spot. And I actually want to breed Mia. Because we never had her head. Like, Glitter and Mia are my two favorite horses because they are draft breeds. And the Welsh Cobb, French, and the Canadian. Oh my god, they are my favorite ponies. And I say Canadian because it's a horse that's named Canadian. And, um, I forgot the guy. Horse World, Horse Land, something. It's on the phone. And it's my literally favorite. <coughs> my Frenchens are my favorite top. <coughs> okay, so I actually want to breed her with another giraffe breed, though. So we have the choice of Cole, Cactus. Cole is not even a drop root. He come from a drop root, but he's not 100%. Plus, I want a purebred. Mmm. Okay, crossbow is really fun. Have a good chance. Good chance, y'all. Good chance. But I gotta go because I'm talking.